Hello dear friends, welcome to Shiksha Mantra. Before we start our discussion, I would ask you to look at the board and read what's written there. So what is written there? Their two sentences are written. The first sentence says, iron is the most useful metal. And the second sentence says, iron is more useful than any other metal. Now it says, or uh, what's the speciality about it? Why have you started this discussion? It's quite well known. When we change degrees of comparison, we have to make such changes for transforming the sentence from positive to comparative or from comparative to something else. That's vice versa. And uh, the question is, what's the speciality? But if you have very keenly followed the thumbnail, what's written there? There I have written, have you ever considered this? So I know you know this, but have you ever considered why? Why to use this? What's the reason? So here today, I'm going to discuss the reason why you have to do this. Just have a look at the sentence. Obviously, I'm talking of the comparative. What happens if I use any metal in its place. Just read the sentence again with any metal. Iron is more useful than any metal. So where lies the difference? Is there actually any difference? Any other metal and any metal? If you have found it out, just pause this discussion, go to the comment section below and there write down what's your vision about this. What do you feel about this? And uh, after returning from the comment section, just uh, let's begin this discussion once again. So any other metal and any metal, where lies the difference? Why should we use any other metal and not any metal? So this is the question. This is what I'm going to discuss here. Actually, this is a secret. Most of the time, we go with flow and we don't consider why it's happening. So here, we are going to discuss that why part, why it's happening like this. Just consider, if you produce this sentence as iron is more useful than any metal. So actually here, other, this word is dropped. And any metal, it includes all the metals actually when we use any we consider everything every metal each and every metal there that means all metals but our consideration goes separately so what happens when we write down any metal there comes iron there comes uh, say gold so we are first considering iron is more useful than gold Okay, then iron is more useful than copper. Then comes iron is uh, more useful than bronze. So we have to consider each and every metal and at one point would consider iron is more useful than iron. Because here any metal means I have told you it's all metals. So if it's all metals, it includes iron. So at some point, we'd consider iron with iron and that's a mistake. So when we say any metal, iron gets included in it. So iron is included in the least because we haven't put the word other there. So what's the sense of other? Other here means except. So here we exclude this noun. When we say any other metal, iron gets excluded from the list. You won't get iron gear when other is used. So it's actually used for excluding or for the exclusion of this particular noun from the list. So what happens when you put uh, any metal you actually make 
a very uh, tricky comparison which gets marred the spirit of the sentence. Iron is more useful than iron. But when other is used, we put the list iron is more useful than gold, than copper, the bronze, than silver. But we won't say iron is more useful than iron because here with other iron gets excluded. That's why in many other parts of this transformation of degrees of comparison, you get no other you get most other and these are used only for the purpose of exclusion to exclude the guiding noun the noun with which the others of the same group are compared so here one particular noun is compared with its class and there the problem arises and here you have to remember that other is a must you can't drop it it's a must and this is the reason why other is so very exclusive for transforming these two sentences so it's time for us to conclude and what would be the conclusion the conclusion is very simple you have to be resoluted that you would use this you want to drop other Whenever you produce these sentences, you won't drop other. That's the consideration you'd make here. And we are returning very soon with another discussion. Yes, dear friends, obviously you'd get the link when it comes uh, uh, published in our channel. And you'll get the link here at the end screen of this video as well. But after it gets published. And there also we we'll discuss another trick regarding degrees of comparison and its transformation so wait for this we are returning very soon don't forget to hit the subscribe button with the bell icon if you are new to this channel we are returning soon bye bye happy learning